Facts First presents Incredible Facts About Food Number 1. The Oldest Soup in History The next time you sit down to enjoy a can of Campbell's Soup, think about the first soup ever made. The oldest evidence of soup goes back to 6000 BC. The ingredients of the first soup were hippopotamus meat and sparrow meat. It certainly is not what you will find in the soup on the supermarket shelves today. Number 2. Where did pound cake get its name? You ever had a piece of pound cake and wondered why it's called pound cake? Some people believe that it got its name because that's how much it weighs – one pound. Well, that's not the case. It got its name from the original recipe. It called for a pound of butter, a pound of eggs, a pound of sugar, and a pound of flour. Since the recipe called for a pound of each ingredient, it was called a pound cake. Number 3. Strange Corn on the Cob Fact Most people don't sit down to eat corn on the cob and count the number of rows of corn. <laughs> that would probably take a while. Well, this fun little fact proves somebody actually did do that. They counted the rows on more than one ear of corn, and on the average ear of corn, there is an even number of rows of corn. In most cases, it's 16. Number 4. You might not be eating wasabi. The next time you go out for a nice sushi dinner and you have wasabi, you should know that it might not actually be wasabi that you are eating. There are many sushi restaurants who use horseradish colored green and they serve that to their customers. They do this because it tastes slightly similar and it's less expensive than real wasabi. Number 5. Apples are actually roses That apple, that red, delicious, crunchy apple, it's classified as a fruit, however, it's a member of the rose family. The same is true with pears and plums. The next time you want to buy a loved one a dozen roses, you can save a lot of money and buy them a dozen apples. Now, Unless they know this fun fact, uh, the gift might not make as much sense. Number 6. Brazil's Most Popular Pizza Topping In the United States, the most popular pizza toppings are pepperoni, cheese, and sausage. Some people prefer vegetables on their pizza, like onions, green peppers, mushrooms, even black olives. In Brazil, things are a bit different. In Brazil, the most popular topping on pizza is green peas. It's a topping you'd never see in the United States – or anywhere else in the world, for that matter. Number 7. Real balsamic vinegar is much more expensive than what you have in your pantry. The average cost of the balsamic vinegar that you keep in your cupboard is between $3 and $5 per bottle. If you want to buy real aged balsamic vinegar, you better be prepared to pay a lot more than that. A whole lot more. The average cost for real balsamic vinegar is anywhere between $75 and $400 per bottle. Number 8. The Most Expensive Pizza in the World Most families spend between $10 and $12 per pie on pizza night. There are some pizza places who charge more, there are some who charge less. The most expensive pizza in the world, though, costs $12,000. That is more expensive than a used car. If you're going to order this extremely expensive pizza, you'd better order it early because it takes 72 hours to make it. It's a long time to wait for a pizza. Number 9. Dunkin' Donuts in South Korea is really weird. When you walk into an American Dunkin' Donuts, you can expect to see, well, donuts. Glazed donuts, chocolate donuts, frosted, Boston cream donuts. But if you walk into a Dunkin' Donuts in South Korea, you're going to see donuts that you've never seen before. They don't sound at all appetizing, at least not to me. The most popular types of donuts there are kimchi croquet and glazed garlic. Number 10. Chocolate was once more than just a tasty treat. Today, people walk into a store and they buy a chocolate bar, and they use money to do that. Well, that was not always the case. In 1400, the Aztecs used the cocoa beans, which chocolate are made from, as a form of currency. Yeah, the chocolate was the money. The people who grew the beans were ordered to give them away as tax. It was called a tribute back then. The Spanish conquistadors also used chocolate as currency. You could trade 100 cocoa beans in exchange for a canoe filled with fresh water or a turkey hen. Number 11. 
there are beetles in your Skittles. Skittles candy uses a red food dye called carmine. It's also used in a variety of other candies to give them their red coloring. What you might not know is that this red dye is made from boiled cochineal bugs, which are a type of beetle. The next time you're thinking about buying a package of Skittles, keep that in mind. You might decide to go with a Twix instead. Number 12. Pufferfish Can Kill You If you're planning to order pufferfish the next time you go out to eat, you should understand that it could be deadly to you. Unless it is prepared properly, it'll contain a toxin that is 1,200 times deadlier than cyanide. Because eating this fish is so dangerous, chefs who prepare pufferfish must study for years and years before they can work in a restaurant that serves the fish. Number 13. McDonald's is a busy place Okay, you probably already knew that, but you probably didn't know how busy they are. Every second of every day, 75 hamburgers are sold. That doesn't include other popular menu items like the Big Mac or Chicken McNuggets. Number 14. Ketchup wasn't always for burgers and dogs Today, people put ketchup on many things, such as hamburgers, hot dogs, french fries. Well, back in the 1800s, ketchup was used as more than just a condiment. Back then, it was used to treat medical conditions, including diarrhea. Not exactly sure how you apply that, though. Hopefully, uh, orally. Number 15. If you're on a diet, stay away from the Chinese buffet. If you're trying to watch your weight, avoid going to a Chinese buffet. Yeah, sure, the food is delicious, it's cheap, and you can eat all you want, and that could be part of the problem. Your waistline, though, is going to pay for it later. If you go to the buffet and you fill your plate three times, you will have consumed about 3,000 calories, much more than the recommended amount of calories that you should consume in an entire day. Number 16. Fruit Loops All Taste the Same If you've ever sat down and eaten a bowl of Fruit Loops, you know that they are delicious. Well, since you don't eat cereal piece by piece, you probably don't know this little fun fact. No matter what color Fruit Loop you're eating, they all taste the same. The only difference between each Fruit Loop is the food coloring that's used. Number 17. Honey is disgusting. This is one of the most disgusting and incredible facts about food. Honey is a sweet food that comes from bees. We all know that. Most people think it's made from the nectar. While that is true, it's also made from something else. There is bee vomit in the honey. The next time you decide to put some honey on your toast, you might want to think twice. Hey, honey, could you pick up some bee vomit at the supermarket? Number 18. Chuck E. Cheese was created by a computer nerd. Chuck E. Cheese is one of the more popular restaurants for kids in the United States. They have rides, games, pizza, and a friendly mouse walking around named Chuck E. Cheese. But you might not know, uh, this restaurant was created by a computer nerd. Nolan Bushnell, the man who invented the Atari video game system, he was the person who created the Chuck E. Cheese franchise. Number 19. Where did Spam get its name? Spam? No, we're not talking about the stuff you get in your email. I'm talking about the meat. Spam. It's an acquired taste. Some people love it. Some people despise it. It is ham in a can. Well, if you ever wondered where they came up with the name Spam, it's pretty simple. It stands for Spiced Ham. Spam. Number 20. The Inventor of the Popsicle Popsicles are a delicious summer treat. They come in a variety of colors and flavors, and both children and adults love them. You ever wondered who invented the Popsicle? Most people think that it was a chef or somebody who worked for a major food manufacturer. The truth is that the Popsicle was invented by an 11-year-old child back in 1905. Number 21. Why are there holes in crackers? You ever eaten a cracker and seen those tiny holes in it? They're actually there for a reason. The small holes are put in the crackers before they're baked so that air bubbles won't ruin the cracker during the baking process. Number 22. So many apples. There are over 7,500 varieties of apples grown all over the world. If you wanted to try a new type of apple each day, it would take you 20 years to try all of them. 
That's a long time and a lot of apples. No thanks, I'll just stick with my Honeycrisp, thank you. Number 23. Pineapples can destroy your taste buds. The next time you decide to have a few pieces of pineapple, you might want to think twice about that. There is an enzyme in pineapples called bromelain. This enzyme helps to break down proteins. Unfortunately, it can also destroy your taste buds because, well, your tongue is made of protein. If you eat pineapples on a daily basis, in a few years you might lose your ability to taste altogether. Number 24. The Most Expensive Fruit in the World Most people don't expect to spend more than maybe $5 on fruit when they go to the supermarket. The most expensive fruit in the world is the Japanese Yubari cantaloupe. Two of these melons were sold at auction recently for $23,500. The typical cantaloupe in the supermarket will run you about 5 bucks. Makes you wonder who would be crazy enough to spend over $23,000 on a couple of pieces of fruit. Number 25. Chicken years ago didn't contain as much meat. Over the years, chickens have been getting larger thanks to the hormones that are given to them by farmers. The larger the chicken, the more money it's going to cost. In 1957, chickens were relatively scrawny. In 1978, they had doubled in size. Today, chickens look like monsters compared to what they once used to look like. Many chicken manufacturers say they're actually no longer using growth hormones in their chickens, but judging by the size, they might not be completely honest about that. Subscribe for more!